Nico, Nico, nine. C5 on J. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, put that old school. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a productive day. Feeling blessed, and like I always say, it's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. That being said, man, I want to talk about a few things in this video in particular. I understand I'm doing things a little bit different, doing more reactions. You know, I'm just practicing. You know, I'm trying to get like other YouTubers. You know, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be successful in this game. You know what I mean? I love, I love having a YouTube channel. I love my audience members. So let's get right into it, man. Practice makes perfect. Now, somebody shot me a video about Lefty Gunplay. Shout out to Lefty Gunplay. He's been doing a lot of collabs with a lot of artists. Boy's living a dream. He's living a dream that I wish I could do. If I had that opportunity, trust me, I'd make it right. I would not fail, not fail. But, you know, it's hard, but, you know, you got to work hard at it. Did a song with Jeremiah, OGZ. Did a lot of songs with a lot of collaborating rappers. Even Kendrick Lamar, they say his verses are on the way. That's righteous right there. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Now, I guess he did a song called Static. The song right here you see across the screen. And I can't get make out what he said. To me personally, everybody said he said the same thing, that he dissed Fresno. I don't know why he would diss Fresno. I don't think he's ever been to Fresno. And I'll tell you right now, Fresno, great city, big city, a lot of things to do. But it's, it's, that city's grime hell. Grime hell. Another Sacramento to me, to be honest with you. Thugs, gangsters, a lot. One thing you want to know, if you ever want to go to Fresno to all, to all the dudes out there, all the homies, Fresno got baddies. That's, that's what I will say. Fresno got baddies, for sure. Even if they're connected to Bulldogs or another street gang. There's a lot of beautiful women, man. Go to Fashion Fair Mall. You don't see BBLs walking everywhere. But anyways, like I said, I listened to the song. I didn't catch what he said. It sounds like it, but with all the auto-tune and whatever he's doing to kind of tweak his little voice a little bit to sound like a more of a mainstream artist, uh, I didn't catch it, but everybody did. And everybody else assumed the same thing. And to the point where Legend Lokes, dude, I heard about this Bulldog since prison. I know he does music, but I'll be honest with you, a lot of Bulldogs that I ran into on the SNY, a lot of them for Lewis Street, a couple from Fifth Street, Marcelli was from Fifth Street, you know, Rialto Street. A lot of Bulldogs that I met, when they talk about Fresno and, you know, people that stand out a lot, they mentioned Legend Lokes. The boy gets involved in a lot of gang political stuff that takes place when it comes to Bulldogs. Really heavily involved in Bulldog politics. He was incarcerated. I believe they said he did Fed time, but I'm not sure. But I know he talks about being on 180 Designs. And I'm going to point out two aspects because Legend Lokes heard about it, made a little quick little Instagram post about it. And he was quick on the draw to drop 559, this, one right, this song right here. And he's dissing Lefty Gunplay. Now, mind you, you may not gain the traction like any other person that was a diss Lefty Gunplay. Lefty Gunplay, whether people consider him a good artist, a talented artist, or just an artist that can't have, can't rap for crap, and it's just an imagery, and he's just backed up by a record label that has the funds to really promote him. Whatever the case may be, a diss song like this towards Lefty Gunplay is not going to gain a lot of traction. It will. We're not talking about band's numbers how he dissed Lefty Gunplay, but certain people just don't have the capability to actually reach a wide range of audience members on a diss track. But he still did it. So obviously that told me them Bulldogs, they're out to gain their recognition as well because we've seen Faith 300 go on No Jumper. Let's talk a little bit about the Bulldogs. We've heard other YouTubers talk about the Bulldogs. And even Cholo Juan said, Bulldogs are actually mainline members. But the thing about it is on social media, and even if no gang member even ever met a Bulldog, seen a Bulldog, they didn't even heard about a Bulldog, they just go off here and say, oh, there's still dropouts. They may not be S and Y, but they can't kick it on the main line with us. So that considers them a dropout. They're a dropout gang. In reality, they're not. They branched off because in the same sense, you can call the NF a dropout gang, but nobody does that. Why? Because they're a big criminal organization. What the NF did to the Mexican Mafia, the Bulldogs did to the NF. They just isolated themselves in one big area, area that Norteños lost control of a long time ago, which Fresno used to be the stronghold for NF regiments for 20 years. Then they lost that regiment. Now it's Salinas and San Jose. So the Bulldogs had that much of an impact on Fresno and Fresno County where they really took it over. 
and created a stance. And they don't want nothing else but that area. They don't want to be in LA. They don't want to be in Northern California. They don't want to be in Colorado and New York. They got Fresno and Fresno's on lock, but they do beef with Southerners. There's been a lot of gang wars going on in Sanger, to be honest with you, with the Bulldogs and the Southerners. And I think that would be a good representation for Fresno if they got Legend Lokes on No Jumper because he could speak about the history of the Bulldogs and their politics and kind of correct everybody's perspective on it because, like I said, most people just go off here and say, oh, they're not on mainline, but they're not on SNY, so that still makes them a dropout PC game because they can't have to walk the main lines. But the yards that they have are considered main lines. It's just they're so isolated and segregated within their own yards that nobody from the mainlands can walk on their yards. In the same sense, a bulldog can't walk a regular mainline without them getting off on them. That's just how prison politics really work. But too much prison politics go on on social media and everybody has their own interpretations or give dumb representations of politics where they smut up a lot of bulldogs a lot. But one thing I want to talk about when it comes to these bulldogs, now that I've been mentioning that lefty gunplay has a big issue going on with the bulldogs and the bulldogs feel like retaliating on lefty gunplay, there's been a cipher that I've seen where they actually dissing Lefty Gunplay and a bunch of other rappers. But it's this flyer right here it was being posted on social media through Snapchat by Fresno Bulldog gang members. And a couple of young Norteños rappers that I've never heard of, doesn't mean anything, I don't mean anything wrong by that, doesn't mean nothing. But I guess they were going to perform in Fresno. And sure enough, Bulldog seen that flyer, seen the location, posted the location everywhere. And it was pretty much some, I mean, all the Bulldogs to come out to the streets and show up at this location and not let these Norteños perform in Fresno. Like, they were like, oh, we, they were being real territorial, bro. Like, they just peed on the Fresno's fire post and said, no, you guys can't be here no more. This belongs to us. They were being real territorial. And somebody gave me that flyer a long time ago. This is already, this is old news, but I wanted to bring it up because I have a message to convey. They had these Bulldogs out here really gathering and recruiting to target young Norteños from performing in the city of Fresno. They don't want that happening. Well, first of all, you got Norteño neighborhoods in the city of Fresno and in, in Fresno County, so to speak. I think that's a bigger matter if you really want to address it publicly on social media. That's why I don't like social media in the sense that that's what people use utilize it for. They weaponize social media, you know, it's for recruitment. They do it for, you know, publications on their own gang politics and their gang neighborhoods and their gang representations. When you know as well as I know, it's meaningless because I didn't hear no retaliation on these three young rappers, these Norteño rappers to go perform in Fresno. I didn't hear nothing about it. So I didn't think nothing. I'm, I'm assuming nothing really happened. But you got a lot of Bulldogs sharing this same post, this same flyer about, hey, but we got to gun these Norteños down. We got to run them out. We got we to gotta do this and do that to them. We can't let them perform in Fresno. Fresno's big enough for everybody to share. Bulldogs are a big population of that uh, Fresno, but you don't have the whole city on lock. So I think it's very unfortunate that, I mean, haterism is on all type of levels. Young Norteños want to promote their music. I tried to promote my music three times in Fresno, and it did not work out whatsoever. Just because it didn't work out for me doesn't mean it couldn't work out for anybody else. In reality, you got three young Norteños going to perform in Fresno and gain some audience members. There's a lot of Bulldog rappers, a lot of Bulldog rappers. You even got Livewire Records in the city of Fresno with Jay Style and the people from the Bay, Shady, Nate, and all them. You guys have your own opportunities in your own city to really have a fan base in your own city. Your own city should be paying attention to you more. If your city has an opportunity to pay attention to other artists, there is no reason to hate on that just because of gang differences. I think that's pretty pathetic. What you should be doing is like, all right, they're going to perform in our city. Let's get some of our rappers that's performing in their city. Let's get their fan base. Because at the end of the day, everybody that's trying to become a rapper and not hate on rappers, I mean, the fan base is the money. That's where you sell your merch. That's where you get your streams. That's where you get your catalog up. That's where you get your fan base. And then all you Bulldog rappers can be on the same level as Lefty Gunplay. You guys choose to isolate yourselves over gang politics in the city of Fresno. And then you're going to isolate your music and your own image in the city of Fresno. That is not how you brought in your horizon. And most importantly, it's not going to do anything to anybody's rap career or their neighborhood if a good bunch of young Norteños come over here just to promote their music and you guys gun them down for it or retaliate on them or run them out of the city. Because this footage I'm showing you right here is Bulldogs jumping in Norteño as soon as they seen them and caught them sleeping and ran them out of Fresno. There's about five, six Bulldogs, a couple of them recording, a couple of them jumping them and ran them out of the city. Yeah, that's you got away with that one. But just remember... 
Karma is a big thing. And you're going to run into some young Norteños that are willing to do the same thing to you as you do to other people. But obviously, people don't see that in hindsight. They don't see the broader aspect of it, the bigger view about it. You can run as many people out of your cities as you want. The city don't belong to you. The city of Fresno belongs to the city of Fresno. There's a lot more civilians and there's a lot more people who can care less about the gang aspect and the bulldog aspect in this city. But I do understand that that is your home turf. That is your backyard. That is your doghouse. Maybe do something different with your city. Instead of worrying about young Norteños performing or worried about what Lefty Gunplay said in a diss track that was probably just meaningless and probably misinterpreted because of the lyrics and the way he raps. You know, as Fresno Bulldogs, man, you guys are a little bit different. You guys stand a little bit different. You guys stand on your own two feet. You guys can't get control of each other. You guys beef with each other so much that sometimes, you know, you guys is even your own yards kick it off on each other. You guys represent something a little bit different, a different sense of unity that people are still against, but a lot of gangs haven't done just yet. Do something with that unity. Take care of the city of Fresno because the city of Fresno is a beautiful city. Just run down, bro. There's a lot of ghetto areas run down. Poverty like crazy in that city. Take care of your city. Start with your city. Start with the Bulldog Nation and what you guys can do for each other and stop burying each other, barking at each other, hurting each other. That'd be a bigger thing to notice and a bigger thing to be proud of than, you know, I got some young homies running Norteño out. Let's post it on social media. Hey, there's some Norteños are going to come rapping our city. Let's gun them down, run them out the city so we can post it on social media. You guys got a lot of Fresno Bulldog rappers, and I'm pretty sure Fresno Bulldog gang members don't even support Fresno Bulldog rappers. You know, so it's very hypocritical. But, hey, shout outs to Legend Lokes. Like I said, I've been hearing about him for years in prison. Never met the dude in person. Don't really know too much about him. Never really paid attention to him on social media. I understand he's doing dropping a diss track on Lefty Gunplay. If it's successful, it's successful. But my main concern was throughout all this ordeal, there's been a lot of violence going on in Fresno that we haven't talked about yet. I haven't had a lot of time to be able to go over all the articles that I've been seeing lately. You know, there was a Fresno bowling alley shooting. Bulldog gang members killing somebody at a bowling alley. That's something that needs to be discussed. But I think Body Hotels is going to talk about it. But what I've seen and what I was really concerned about is that I mean, regardless how Norteños feel about me, there was three young Norteño rappers that are just trying to do something all with the career and just get it off the ground. And you can't even go perform at a regular nightclub. And most of the time you're performing just to perform in front of women, just to get a fan base. You know, the women are the ones that blow up the streams the most without having to worry about being gunned down or ran out by Bulldogs because Bulldogs feel like Fresno belongs to them. And they're just hating on their success because of that. So I wanted to bring all that to you guys' attention. Thought it was a crazy video to talk about. You already know you all can get the footage on Instagram as well. So with that being said, like I always say, it's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. Peace.